All right, today I'm gonna give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Gears of War 3 Toys R Us exclusive Golden Cock Soldier. And here it is in packaging. It comes with a Lancer, uh, a Retro Lancer, and a regular Lancer. They're both gold. And uh, there are gold trims around his helmet. And this is how it looks in packaging. And here's the back flap. And uh, there's a picture of him. Golden Cox Order. You're welcome to pause and read that. And other figures that are available. And uh, let's get this guy out of packaging. All right, and here we have the golden, golden cock soldier. Yeah, golden cock soldier outside of packaging. And I believe uh, this is based off of the multiplayer uh, skin that he has. And uh, he comes with retro lancer, which is gold retro lancer, and a regular gold lancer. And again, this is just a repaint of the other Cog Soldier. And I was, uh, was not able to find the Cog Soldier anywhere before, nor did I see the, the, that whole wave actually, the previous wave. Couldn't find it at Toys R Us at all. So now, um, they release a, a repaint of the cock soldier so here he is and uh, I was uh, actually I was uh, very surprised by the articulation uh, not uh, not how many points of articulation he has uh, but uh, that they all move uh, as they are supposed to didn't have to use any uh, freezer tricks or uh, freezer trick or or the hair dryer trick to loosen up the joints, but uh, yeah, they all worked. They all worked fine. So I'm very happy about that, except for one joint, which I'll show in a second. And one thing I'm very happy about is how far up his arm can swing. As you can see, that's cool. Okay, a lot of people aren't aware of, uh, well, they are aware of this joint, but uh, they couldn't get it to move, is uh, the bicep uh, section right here. Because uh, when, uh, when you rotate this arm, usually you just get this rotation, which is the peg that's, uh, uh, that's attached to the shoulder. But uh, for the bicep section, um, usually this joint is uh, sticking to the bicep, so can't really move it and there this part right here it's supposed to swivel as well this section because uh, uh, if you want your uh, figure to hold a lancer with two hands naturally you would have to loosen up this joint right here and uh, the trick to this uh, you would have to use a hairdryer to soften up this bicep section and then I uh, use a screwdriver to kind of pry it in there a little bit to um, to fatten up uh, this peg hole right here, so uh, so he'll be able to move uh, this uh, swivel joint right here. Uh, currently, without loosening up that joint, the bicep joint, uh, the best you could do, uh, the best pose you could give him while holding a lancer would be this. Because uh, his shoulders aren't fully forward due to that joint not being loosened up. Alright, and here he is. After loosening up that bicep joint, here's how he looks uh, while holding the Retro Lancer. As you can see, it's uh, much more natural. Because uh, I was able to swing his arm uh, forward even more than what uh, I was able to previously. So now you can see he's holding the Retro Lancer way better, way more natural. Yep. All right, and here's a closer look at the Cog Soldier. 
the golden cog. Did a great job sculpting this guy. And he does have a peg hole on his back. And, uh, yeah. Great looking figure. And here we have him holding the regular lancer. You see how natural he's holding it. Again, if uh, once you could get that uh, swivel joint to move, you get him to a way better pose. Let's do a, uh, let's see how tall he is. Uh, he stands about seven inches tall. And uh, let's do a size comparison with the Theron uh, Sentinels. And here he is standing next to the two Theron Sentinels. And they're pretty much the same height, which is a little bit disappointing since uh, the Therons are supposed to be way taller than the humans. So, yeah, but there you go. Toys R Us exclusive. Thanks for watching.